Japanese Destroyer Captain, by Tomichi Hara, a deep dive into the memoirs of World War II naval officer. Tomichi Hara's memoir, Japanese Destroyer Captain, provides a unique and captivating perspective on World War II from the eyes of a Japanese naval officer. Hara's account offers readers a glimpse into the complexities of wartime decisions, the challenges of leadership, and the personal toll of war. This analysis will delve into the key themes, historical context, and the author's narrative style that make this memoir a compelling and thought-provoking read. Hara's memoir primarily revolves around his experiences as a destroyer captain in the Imperial Japanese Navy during World War II. He vividly describes the intensity of naval combat in the Pacific theater, offering a front-row seat to the reader as he recounts engagements against the American, British, and Australian navies. His detailed descriptions of battles, such as the Battle of Guadalcanal, provide a gripping portrayal of the chaos and violence of war. One of the central themes of the memoir is the moral struggle faced by Hara and his fellow officers. Hara grapples with the ethical dilemmas of war, questioning the righteousness of Japan's imperialistic ambitions and the consequences of his actions. His internal conflict serves as a powerful reminder that even in the midst of a global conflict, individuals can maintain their humanity and sense of morality. Hara also sheds light on the challenges of leadership during wartime. As a destroyer captain, he was responsible for the lives of his crew, and he recounts the difficult decisions he had to make to ensure the survival of his ship and crewmates. His experiences highlight the immense pressure and responsibility placed on military leaders, who must balance strategic objectives with the welfare of their subordinates. The memoir is set against the backdrop of the Pacific War, providing historical context for Hara's experiences. Hara describes Japan's initial successes and subsequent setbacks, as well as the gradual shift in the balance of power in favor of the Allied forces. His account offers insights into the strategic and tactical decisions made by the Japanese High Command, as well as the challenges they faced in a war of attrition against the United States. One of the most striking aspects of Hara's narrative is his candidness and introspection. He openly acknowledges the flaws and mistakes of the Japanese military leadership, as well as his own shortcomings as a naval officer. This honesty adds depth to his memoir, as it humanizes him and makes his story more relatable to readers of all backgrounds. Hara's writing style is straightforward and unembellished, reflecting his military background. His prose is clear and concise making the memoir accessible to a wide audience. While some war memoirs are filled with heroic tales and grandiose descriptions, Hara's approach is refreshingly modest, focusing on the everyday realities of naval warfare. Throughout the memoir, Hara emphasizes the importance of learning from history. He laments the lack of critical self-reflection in Japan's military leadership, which he believes contributed to their downfall. This theme of learning from the past serves as a cautionary message to future generations about the consequences of hubris and the importance of avoiding the mistakes of the past. Hara's memoir also offers a unique perspective on the human cost of war. He describes the camaraderie among his crewmates, the bonds formed in the face of danger, and the profound sense of loss when comrades fell in battle. These emotional connections add a deeply personal dimension to the narrative, reminding readers that war is not just about strategy and tactics, but also about the lives and sacrifices of individuals. In conclusion, Japanese Destroyer Captain by Tamichi Hara is a compelling and thought-provoking memoir that provides a valuable perspective on World War II from the Japanese side. Hara's honest and introspective account of his experiences as a naval officer, the moral dilemmas he faced, 
and the challenges of leadership make this book a must-read for anyone interested in the human aspects of war. His narrative style, combined with historical context, creates a gripping and educational account that encourages readers to reflect on the lessons of history and the enduring human qualities that transcend the chaos of war.